speaking of the bracket, our next match appears to be between Tequila Mockingbird and Dragon Slayer 06. Love both the names. <laughs> they, they are <laughs> rather good names here. It's not only a battle in Smash, it's a battle of the tags. Yes, but uh, Tequila Mockingbird, it looks like, is a Zero Suit Samus uh, type player, which we have seen a few in the past before. We and have. They can be extremely aggressive, extremely quick. If you know that, that character, they are hard to take out and hard to defeat. Yes, they can be very slippery and very quick. We're going to have to see who Dragon Slayer plays. Going to see how hard of a time he has to deal with that quick speed, quick movement. Yes, I am uh, very much looking forward to this set and seeing how, how this uh, tournament goes going forward. I'm very excited. It was quite, a, like as you said, quite a good first set to start off this tournament. We're going to have to see these players can put on just as good of a show. Yes. And of course, uh, the competitor there to the right rocking the Q t shirt. Got to love it. Got to love it. We may or may not have made a quick trip to there right before this stream. <laughs> Had to fuel right. up somehow. So it's looking like we are starting off the set here. Alrighty, I hear the countdown. Dark Pit is Dragon Slayer's character of choice. I'm very uh, excited to see how this goes. It I don't see like too many Dark Pit or Dark Pit players. Yes, but it is looking like um, Tequila Mockingbird getting quick damage onto Dragon Slayer. Yes, using this speed and movement oh, that we were talking oh, about oh, from DSS. And <laughs> in the middle of the sentence, Tequila with that incredible down B spike to get a zero to death. Quite a way to start this set. You couldn't ask for a better start if you were Tequila Mockingbird. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, however, Dragon Slayer able to get fire back here a bit, getting some percentage on. <laughs> I want to call him. I want to read his tag, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> All right, Tequila, again, another perfect setup into that down smash. A beautiful down B confirmed coming out from Tequila. Two in a row, just back to back. Uh, an incredibly strong start here. Like we said, Zero Suit Samus is a dangerous, dangerous character. We know how to use her. And it's yeah. looking like Tequila Mockingbird has, has nigh mastered Zero Suit Samus' movement. Absolutely. The, these, these movements and options, uh, the, the setups have been working out wonderfully for Tequila, leading to this 3-1 to one stock situation. Dragon approaching his last stock here in kill percent. Dragon has got to get something going. Some kind of ball roll needs to roll here, and that could be the start of it. Oh, just, just narrowly, <laughs> just narrowly missing that arrow. Got another chance here. Air dodging right through it and mixing him up with that down B to recover. Boy, Perfect that parry. Mockingbird just throws caution to the wind. I thought they were about to do it again. That one not spiking, but still uh, taking that game there. Three flip kick kills in one game. It's like Tequila is doing some wow. sort of challenge. You know, you, you can only take stocks with this one move. Challenge complete. A very dominating first game from Tequila Mockingbird. A very dominating first game indeed. Like Tequila Mockingbird came here to play. Like like I said, there are some competitors here that came here to win, and Tequila Mockingbird is no exception. Not at all. It was almost seemed like a speed run, just the way that they were getting those setups time and time again, racking on the percent real quick and sealing out the stock just as fast. Yeah, like, Tequila Mockingbird is speed running this tournament right now. He is here to get the money and walk away. Definitely. If game one is any indicator here, Tequila Mockingbird is definitely a competitor to look out for. Definitely. It is up to Dragon Slayer to see what he can do, what he can adjust to hopefully uh, combat this incredible ZSS. We're going to see, of course, we could get a character swap or might just stick it with the Dark Pit to see if he can adjust to the incredible precision of Tequila's Zero Suit yep. Samus. Perhaps maybe that was just an off game by a Dragon Slayer. This could be his first game of the tournament. I, I'm, I don't have the bracket in front of me right now to see, but this could be his very first game of the tournament. Maybe that is just him knocking the cobwebs off, knocking the dust off, and getting things set. Maybe the next game he's going to come in swinging. Very true. Very well may happen. 
we uh, all have those games sometimes. I'm going to see if I can. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I am going to see if we can have that bracket pulled up. Yeah, but uh, I would love to see how Dragon Slayer does adjust to this uh, aggressive zero suit Samus play. I am I am excited to see as well. It seems that it is going to be very tough to put a stop to it, but it's not impossible. Not impossible. Alrighty, we do get a rather drastic switch Ooh, yeah. from uh, from the unconventional Dark Pit to one of the best characters in the game. We got Pyra Mithra. Definitely a top five character. Definitely. All right, we're going to have to see if this increased speed and options, all right, uh, <laughs> say goodbye to the increased <laughs> speed, uh, but we're going to have to see if this character is going to do enough to keep up with Tequila's incredible speed. Yeah, the, the Dark Pit just wasn't cutting it, and uh, they're definitely more comfortable with Pyramithra, and you can definitely see why. They immediately got 57% done to Tequila Mockingbird's incredible uh, Zero Suit Samus. Indeed, this has been a much different game so far than the one we saw last time. Trying to read a big option there, but Tequila's just going to come in with the punish. Got the berry Get into the up B confirm. And just like that, Tequila Mockingbird once again takes Dragon's first stock. That was quite that a... Is four stocks in a row for Tequila Mockingbird taking. That is true. However, it's not out of the realm of possibility as Tequila's percentage has been climbing. Yes, uh, Zero Suit Samus doesn't have the best recovery in the game, but still pretty decent recovery if you know how to use it. Yeah, definitely very, very versatile. Can get back from quite a lot of places, especially with that Plasma Whip at her disposal as well. Narrowly jumping out of these KO options to hold on to this stock a little longer is Tequila Mockingbird. Get another perfect recovery, able to shield that spinning sword before it could do any damage. Oh, couldn't bring it back. Uh, Pyron Mithra, unfortunately, doesn't have the greatest recovery in the game. One of the worst recoveries there are, actually. Yeah, Pyro's it definitely has its weaknesses. Of course, Mithra with a lot more versatile recovery, but we did not see her come out there in that, in that situation. I wonder if it was just a panicked up B there. Coming yeah. out from Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Very well may have been. Fully charging yet again, but Tequila jumping out of the way as he has been doing very expertly. Now putting quite a lot of pressure on Dragon Slayer and getting that <laughs> down B flip kick. Uh, but uh, thankfully for Dragon Slayer, he was on stage, so that did not spike him to his doom. Yeah, I kind of I wonder if Tequila Mike were for, was going for another spike there when he jumped up right before that side B. And Tequila Mockingbird at 171% refusing to go down. <laughs> Absolutely, which is quite a feat against a character with so much kill power as Pyra. Uh, a, another three stock coming out from Tequila. And finishing with that side B from ZSS, an option that we had not seen them utilize. Uh, if I believe it was uh, not at all, but if they did throw it out, it was very few times. So a wonderful mix up yeah. with that side B to finish off that game too. Working towards a 3-0 from Tequila, unless Dragon Slayer can make the right adjustments. Again, it is not impossible but against a player like Tequila Mockingbird and the aggression that is Zero Suit Samus, that his his Zero Suit Samus. It's going to be very difficult. It is quite an impressive feat for anyone to do. Switching right back to that dark pit, <laughs> starting off with either teabagging or just trying to get to the platform. Sometimes you can't tell. We're gonna have to see if so this dark. Toxic. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to see if this Dark Pit is able to do it. Uh, switching off of the Pyra and Mithra back to the Dark Pit might be just someone who they are more familiar with. We're going to have to see if this switch works out for them. And almost Ooh. an SD, but Tequila perfectly getting that recovery. Of course, when you're looking at Tequila Mockingbird, it, whenever you see... Uh, him go down that far off screen, you know he's got a plan. Very true. It seems like... Oh! We jinxed it. The commentator's curse. It does live on, right as we're talking about uh, Tequila's incredible proficiency in recovering a rare SD to, uh, to give Dragon Slayer their first stock lead of this set. Let's see if he'll be able to use this as momentum going forward. He's able to get the ball rolling here and narrow the gap and stop the bleeding. Exactly. It is a, a opportunity that could 
give a good lead here, but that Ooh, that's a combo we really haven't seen yet from from Tequila Mockingbird, but it's such a classic Zero Suit Samus combo. It is. The classic down smash paralyzer into that up B is going to even up the stock count. And before long, Tequila has already built a small lead. It's Tequila. Uh, just like that, after that SG, he, he's, ang I, I imagine he's angry with himself after that mistake, and he wants to just go on a dominating combo, dominating run here to end off this set. That does seem to be his goal, as he has been playing this second stock wonderfully. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, as Dark Bed has that incredibly uh, long recovery, they are able to get right back, but not before, uh, not long after that, Tequila seals off their stock with the Nair into back air confirmed. What a great grab there by Dragon Slayer, uh, trying to finally take another stock off of Tequila Mockingbird. But a grapple from Tequila puts the kibosh on that immediately. Jumping right over that Electro Shock. Dragon Slayer able to get safely back to stage. Not too big of a punish from Tequila. Ooh, I thought he was about to go for that spike again. Would not Very have blamed true. him. It has been working wonders so far this set. And Dragon Slayer is one spike or other kill confirm away from this set being wrapped up. And that should... No, it won't do it. He misses the confirm. All right, Shield needs multi-jabs. We're going to have to see the punish. Just a, a quick F-tilt. There we go. Dragon Slayer finally using those arrows to, to zone out Tequila Mockingbird and stop the ledge guard. All right, jumping over yet another Electro Shock. So far, those none of those have been able to connect as Dragon Slayer has been hoping. <laughs> Stopping that F smash with the little F tilt and a perfect punish for from Tequila with the up smash is going to steal out that set in a rather dominating 3-0 fashion. Tequila Mockingbird coming out here and showing how fierce of a competitor he really is and how dangerous he is. And definitely he is a competitor that the, the rest of this bracket should watch out for. Definitely. As you said, if, if it seems like uh, someone is trying to speed run a bracket, you do not want to be in the way of that speed run. Oh yeah, when, when a train is barreling towards you like that, you either have to take it or get out of the way. <laughs> exactly. We're going to have to see how uh, that wonderfully skilled VSS continues out through the bracket. After quite that dominating performance, I am looking forward to seeing how he continues on. And seeing those perfectly timed spikes and the ledge guards and the ledge traps, it is incredible how how well he knows that character and how in, how much time he's put into that character. Very very clear. It is very clear to see all the time that he's put into the character. Just so many clean confirms. It seemed like no matter what situation, he was able to get some sort of combo, some follow up, or or even a kill out of out of most situations. It was an incredibly versatile gameplay, uh, and I really liked what I saw. Yeah, I think everyone liked what they saw there. It, it, as long as you're uh, another competitor in this bracket, yeah. about to go against Tequila Mockingbird, I'm pretty sure That's you true. loved everything you saw, because Tequila Mockingbird, 99% of that game was played to perfection. The only 1% that I saw that was a bit of a mistake was that SD, but he immediately angry about it and yeah. it showed yeah there were no more mistakes from that point forward playing incredibly on point for the rest of that game as they did the rest of that set just incredibly polished zss quite an amazing competitor and definitely a contender for that big old prize waiting at the end of this yes yeah, so remember we have a 10k prize pool here at midwest fest 2024 powered by kick that is, is huge. It is, it, like I said, we have a lot of insane competitors here. And Tequila Mockingbird showing off the skill that is here in this venue. Yeah, and if that's only the second set, imagine what we have in store for us as this bracket continues. As 